Let's talk about Nanette Fabre, an actress who stood out from others in her time. What made her special compared to her fellow actors? Do you have any favorite moments from her performances? Share your memories with us below. We'll explore some interesting, funny, and heartwarming facts about her soon. In the realm of entertainment, one individual stands out for their remarkable talent and unforgettable performances. This person left a lasting impression on audiences through their incredible skills and dedication to their craft. From heartwarming comedies to gripping dramas, their ability to inhabit diverse roles with finesse was truly remarkable. Their presence on screen was magnetic, drawing viewers into the worlds they inhabited with their performances. Whether delivering poignant monologues or stealing scenes with comedic timing, they consistently left an indelible mark on the hearts of audiences. Beyond their talent as an actor, their commitment to storytelling was evident in every role they undertook. Their dedication inspired generations of performers, shaping the entertainment industry for years to come. Even today, their influence continues to resonate, their impact on the industry enduring long after their time in the spotlight. Their work serves as a testament to the power of art to connect with audiences across generations. Despite being offered the original voice role for Wilma Flintstone on The Flintstones, she opted for Irving Berlin's Mr. President, a decision she never regretted. Despite the show's disappointing reception, she remained focused on her career. Her film debut came as Mistress Margaret Radcliffe in The Private Lives of Elizabeth and Essex. She laid the groundwork for her acting career while attending Los Angeles Junior College. In the realm of television, Nanette Favre stood out as a brilliant star whose talent illuminated screens big and small alike. She graced beloved shows such as One Day at a Time and Mary Tyler Moore, capturing the hearts of audiences effortlessly. A notable portrayal was Grandma Catherine Romano, a character adored for her warmth and wit. Alongside a stellar cast, including Joseph Campanella, Richard Masser, and Mackenzie Phillips, her performance added depth and authenticity to the show, creating cherished memories. Not limited to scripted dramas, Nanette also charmed audiences on the iconic game show, The Hollywood Squares, where her charisma shone through. Here, she endeared herself to viewers with a unique sign language greeting, earning the playful nickname No Nose Nanette. Throughout her impressive career, Nanette epitomized versatility, seamlessly transitioning between genres and mediums. Her impact continues to inspire aspiring actors, reminding us of the timeless power of talent and dedication. This tribute to her contributions to the entertainment world is a testament to her enduring influence, ensuring that her name will always be synonymous with excellence and admiration. In a classic film, a talented actress played a memorable role leaving a lasting impression with her outstanding performance. Despite her exceptional skill, some of the songs she beautifully sang for the movie didn't make it to the final version. However, her impact on the film industry was recognized. In 1993, she received a prestigious award from the Women's International Center for her significant achievements. Additionally, she was made an honorary member of a sorority, highlighting her widespread recognition and respect. Throughout her impressive career, her dedication to acting and her unmatched talent have left a lasting influence that continues to inspire generations of performers and fans alike. This tribute honors her remarkable contributions to the world of entertainment. In the bandwagon, the characters on screen closely mirrored the real lives of the people involved in its creation. The movie's screenwriters, Betty Comden and Adolph Green, decided to portray Nanette Fabre and Oscar Levant as a married couple in the film, drawing inspiration from themselves, even though they weren't married. This choice was driven by their concern that audiences might not accept an unmarried male female writing team, reflecting the real-life dynamics of Comden and Green's partnership. The characters in the movie reflected the experiences of those behind the scenes. Fred Astaire's contemplation of retirement echoed the challenges faced by Tony's character. Nanette Fabre's role as Lily and Oscar Levant's character Lester were based on the real-life screenwriters Comden and Green. Jack Buchanan's portrayal of Jeffrey drew inspiration from Jose Fur, a busy Broadway producer with a schedule similar to Fur's. Additionally, Jeffrey shared traits with Orson Welles, attempting to direct a musical without prior experience and a parallel to Welles' own endeavor. Welles' production, much like the one in the film, faced challenges with elaborate effects and oversized sets, echoing the complaints of the movie's designer about sets, not fitting the theater. In the end, Nanette Fabre rests at Holy Cross Cemetery in Culver City, CA, leaving a legacy that is intertwined with the world of entertainment. In the classic film The Bandwagon, a mishap occurred during the shooting of Louisiana Hayride when the actress playing Lily Martin, Nanette Fabre, got injured while breaking through a prop crate. 
This incident resulted in a noticeable gash on her leg. Later, during the filming of Triplets, she experienced significant discomfort while standing on her knees, leading her to rely on a considerable number of painkillers. Interestingly, a family connection came into play when Nanette shared the screen with her niece Shelley Fabry on the television series One Day at a Time in 1975. They also appeared together in an episode of The Hollywood Squares on April 15, 1975. Nanette Fabry's roots trace back to Louisiana, where both of her parents hailed from. Her mother, Lily McGovern, was born in New Orleans with Irish ancestry, while her father, Raoul Bernard Fabre, originated from Point a la Haque, Plaquemines, with French descent. Additionally, Nanette's paternal grandfather was born in Lacassagny, Hots Pyrenees, Occitanie, France. This familial and geographical background added a unique dimension to Nanette's life and career, showcasing her diverse heritage and connections within the entertainment industry. In a memorable stint on the Mary Tyler Moore show, she portrayed Dottie Richards, Mary's mother. Despite her hopes of becoming a series regular, she only appeared in two episodes and was an ass back. She even confronted Mary about it. Before her career took off, she battled hearing impairment until undergoing four successful operations. She became a prominent advocate for the rights of the disabled, serving on various committees, and championing the inclusion of sign language and captioning on TV. Interestingly, she's the aunt of actress Shelley Fabre. In defiance of network rules, the performer sang over the rainbow while signing on live TV, a groundbreaking act aimed at promoting sign language and challenging network restrictions. This bold move garnered attention and sparked discussions on inclusion and diversity in media. But the defiance didn't stop there. In a unique turn of events, the individual decided to undergo nose enlargement surgery, a decision that raised eyebrows and broke away from societal norms. By embracing personal choices, they became a symbol of self-empowerment and individuality in an industry often driven by conformity. However, the journey in the entertainment industry wasn't without its challenges. During filming in 1978, a mishap involving an elephant resulted in a significant injury, highlighting the very real dangers present in the world of entertainment. Despite this setback, their resilience and determination never wavered. Throughout their career, their name became synonymous with courage and innovation. From pushing the boundaries of television to making unconventional choices and confronting the dangers of the set, they left a lasting impression on the world of entertainment. In the end, their story remains a powerful example of the importance of challenging norms in pursuit of one's dreams. It serves as an inspiration to all those who dare to defy expectations and carve their own path in life.